What's going on, Larry Noticers? It's your boy, Mr. CEO, Big Daddy Shea Muma of this beautiful, awesome, fantastic technology YouTube channel that is Wear Notice. And guys, today in this Wear Notice video, we're going to be unboxing this bad boy right here. This is the Apple Watch Series 4, but not only is it Apple's latest and greatest Apple Watch, this particular variation right here will set you back about $900 after taxes, so it is pretty expensive. And why? Well, it is because this bad boy is gold. That is right, it's casing, it's body is made from gold colored stainless steel, and it's band is the stainless steel Milne's loop, except in a brand new gold color. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited to try on this bad boy right here. I'm gonna look pretty cool, folks. I've got a feeling about that. So without further ado, let's get to unboxing it. Where notice on the baddest beat. Met a lot of people, but still don't know defeat. Running for the White House, but I am no athlete. Got Jordans on my feet and haters in retreat. Wait, I am the CEO. Competition robotic, call him C3PO. So folks, here we are up close and personal with the Apple Watch Series 4 box. And the first thing that I noticed is the shape. It is this long rectangle. So that is definitely interesting. And another interesting thing about this box is actually the lack of Apple Watch Series 4 marketing branding on the box. All it says that is very noticeable is Apple Watch on the top, and it's sort of engraved. You can feel it if you rub your finger across it, but it doesn't say Apple Watch Series 4. But now if you flip it over to the back, actually, if you come over here, uh, you can actually see that look. It talks about this specific Apple Watch that you bought. So once again, mine is the Series 4, and that is the gold stainless steel case, as well as a gold stainless steel Milne's loop, and that is size 44 millimeters. And now about the sizing. So the Apple Watch Series 4 actually has different sizes than the previous Apple Watches, yet it's still compatible with the old Apple Watches bands. So basically how that works is that bigger Apple Watches, whether before they would have been the 42 millimeter, now they're the 44 millimeter, they can still use the same bands between all them. And smaller Apple Watches, before it would have been the 38 millimeter, now it's the 40 millimeter, those can share bands between them as well. So yeah, and this, once again, this is the bigger version. This is the 44 millimeter. You know I'm Big Daddy Shane. I got to get the bigger one. What can I say? As you guys know, I got the uh, 10s Max as well. So I, I like big things, okay? I'm Big Daddy. I like, the I like it big, okay? Come on. <laughs> anyway, folks, that's, that's enough talking about big things. Let's unbox the big thing, okay? Let's get it open. So here we go. Just breaking the seal on the back here. And then here we go. And now folks, back to the back where we've gotta undo these little things, get them open. And then folks, this is kinda weird. I actually think you unbox the watch from behind. Ooh, but that's a pretty picture, wow. Look how nice the box looks on the inside right there. Do you guys see that? Can you pick that up? These nice, pretty pictures of Apple watches, all, all different colors, very nice, very pretty looking. And yeah, let's take the Apple watch box out of this box. Let's put that to the side. And here we go, folks. This is the moment of truth. You guys ready? You guys ready? I'm ready. Come on, let's do this. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> designed by Apple in California, baby. Oh, yeah. And here we've got, let me guess, the paperwork. Yep, we got a little quick start guide. And anything else in here? Do we got some Apple stickers? Nope, I do not see any Apple stickers as far as I'm concerned, but we do got this stuff, so let's put that to the side for now. And then right here you have the little charging cable for the Apple Watch Series 4. Look at that bad boy. And then we have the AC adapter as well, also for charging this bad boy up, giving it a little jiggly juice, making it stay alive, stay charged. And then over here we've got the Apple Watch itself. Oh yeah, you know what's weird though? It doesn't come with the band pre-installed. I think that's a little weird. For $900, maybe it could have the band pre-installed, but whatever, let's open it up and see it. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Gold for days, folks. And as you can see, the Apple Watch Series 4 also has a different rear than previous Apple Watches. Look at that right there. That is distinct, that is different. One thing about the Apple Watch Series 4 that is actually enabled by this new rear as well as the new digital crown, this little guy right here, is that it can actually take an EKG, which is like this fancy heart reading, I'm not a doctor or anything, 
But yeah, and then the Apple Watch Series 4, you'll see this once we get set up, but it also has, guess what, a much bigger screen than previous Apple Watches, which is super duper cool. So let's put this bad boy down for a second. Hopefully we don't lose it, how tiny it is. <laughs> that would be annoying. And we can just put this to the side, and then right here, ooh, that is interesting, the packaging, how the band itself actually has a separate box. You guys picking that up? That is interesting. I have not seen this before in an Apple Watch. But now, folks, here we go. Let's slide it out. This is the gold Milanese Loop stainless steel Apple Watch band. The band itself, by the way, if you were to buy the band separately, is $150. So the band's not exactly cheap either. Oh, boy, look at that. Gold, baby. Ho, oh, ho. Look at that. Okay, come on. Come out, little dude. Come out. Just want to try you on. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. So now let's put these things to the side and focus on the watch and its band. I admittedly did have to look at the guide for putting the band on before I put it on just to make sure I do it correctly. So once again, Apple, if you're watching, in the future, it would be nice if you had the band pre-installed because not everyone wants to go through the time to install it. But yeah, so all you gotta do is just push it in. It is very easy though, I have to admit. And obviously the Apple Watch does have interchangeable bands as I've already talked about, which is definitely a good thing. And yeah, just slide this bad boy in down here. And wow, there it is. The complete Apple Watch Series 4 smothered, covered, absolutely deliciously, I don't know, just covered, I already said that word, in gold. Gold stainless steel, that is. Wow, this looks... This looks good, this looks pretty classy. So I'm gonna just put it on my wrist. So to do that, just create some room in the band and then just slipper slide it on. And then just one good thing about the Milanese loop is you can tailor it directly to your um, wrist size because as you can see, you can just make it nice and snug, however snug or however loose you want it. And then just it magnetically closes very nicely and wow, look at that gold folks who's the big daddy now i think you guys know apple watch series 4 in this unboxing that's pretty cool so folks now i'm done setting up the apple watch series 4 right here and as you can see that big new screen is absolutely beautiful just look how many complications the watch face can fit in it's like edge to edge very beautiful going on and yeah as you can see i'm showing off my also gold iphone 10s max down here so i remember at the apple event apple showed off a bunch of cool new watch faces for the series 4 to show off that beautiful new uh display that once again bigger screen so let's go and look right now we're on the infograph face you've got all these different faces and i remember i saw this flame one that i really wanted to check out so let's see let's look for the flame one Oh yeah, and by the way, that digital crown, it also has this haptic feedback, so when you scroll with it, it feels like you're almost scrolling a mechanical uh, a mechanical crown. So basically, see, if I scroll a bit, I, I feel a little tap. See, just like that, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at this one right here, fire and water, that's what I'm talking about. So let's see, customize, and let's see, full screen, blah, 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 uh, fire and water, I just want fire, oh yeah. Oh yeah, folks, watch this. Oh yeah, that's the big daddy watch right there. And look, the fire is like the same color as the gold around this as well as that gold iPhone. Apple this year, it seems like the theme is two things. Gold, because both of these devices are super gold, as well as bigger. Because 10s Max, bigger screen, Apple Watch Series 4, bigger screen. So I'm definitely liking those two things. I'm big daddy Shane, I like big things, and I also like gold things. So this is, this is a cool year. Anyway, let's get back to looking at the Apple Watch Series 4 over here because this guy is just super awesome. So if you tap the digital crown right here, that's basically the guy you use for a lot of different navigation in the Apple Watch. For those of you guys who are new to the Apple Watch, you get to the home screen where all the different apps are, the app screen. As you can see, you can just come around here, look at all the different apps. And yeah, you can also use this guy for scrolling as you saw. And then if you hold it down, you can get to Siri. So, hey Siri. Who am I? You're asking me, she? Wow, and she has a very nice voice as you can tell. Uh, unlike Bixby, sorry Bixby, I have to roast you right now because I was just reviewing the uh, Samsung Galaxy Watch earlier. 
the personal assistant on that, very, very ugly voice. That's Bixby. But Siri, she's much nicer, at least in my opinion. And then, yeah, if you swipe down from the top of the screen right there, you can see your notifications. It talks about raising to speak with Siri. And then also, while you're on the watch face, you can swipe up to see like a sort of control center area with various different things. You can uh, make it look like a flashlight like that if you need more light where you are. And yeah, if you press this button right here, the side button, you can go through this multitasking view. And I'm feeling that new digital crown right there. It's giving me little taps as I uh, rotate it like that. And yeah. Lastly, of course, if you hold down that side button, watch what happens. You can either power it off or do some SOS stuff if you're in a bad situation, a dangerous situation, and you need to contact the authorities. And yeah, let's actually take the Apple Watch Series 4 off so I can give you guys a better look at it. As you can see with the Series 4 redesign, actually, the microphone on the watch was actually moved over to this side. And that's supposed to make the phone calls sound better, I believe, because now the microphone is further away from the speakers. As you can see, the speakers look a bit different on here and now another new thing about the Apple Watch Series 4 at least in its design is right here this little red ring around the digital crown now if you guys can pick that up what I'm talking about here check it out right here that red ring right there around the digital crown so now what that bad boy represents is that this watch has cellular connectivity it is the option it is just an option you don't have to do it uh, to be able to connect cellular networks and thus make phone calls, access the internet, do that sort of stuff when your phone isn't with you. Now, that does cost extra if you do want to do that, but once again, it's optional. And yeah, if you remember on the Apple Watch Series 3, actually to uh, represent that, the whole side of the digital crown was red. Now it's just a little band around it. And if the Apple Watch Series 4 that you buy does not have cellular compatibility, uh, it will not have that red ring. So yeah, but this guy this particular model it does as you can see So oh, yeah, I'm really digging this gold though. Like I swear Apple. Thank you for bringing this much gold into my life Like this is just absolutely beautiful when your phone and your watch match like this Like I know they're super expensive, but with that big screen the big gold. Oh, yeah, big daddy like so what can I say folks? And yeah now anyway, I'm going to put the Apple watch series 4 back on my wrist just like that beautiful beautiful little guy right there just come on guys come on and i mean yeah folks that'll be all for this awareness unboxing of the gold apple watch series 4 44 millimeter version with the gold milanese loop stainless steel apple watch band and yeah if you guys couldn't tell by now, I'm definitely digging this bad boy so far. I'm definitely liking it. And yeah, if you guys want to learn more about this beautiful, beautiful bad boy right here, definitely be sure to smash that subscribe button and subscribe to the Wear Nerds Technology YouTube channel so you don't miss my full review of this bad boy as well as awesome other technology videos. Like for example, I unboxed this bad boy, the iPhone XS Max. Keep bragging about this bad boy, but it's just so sexy. I mean, both of these guys are. I know I've said it many times, but come on guys. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing. Wear notice out with the Apple Watch Series 4 covered, smothered, dripping in gold, baby. This bad boy is so beautiful. Bye.